Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Bell Custom 500. Before we jump in and give you the full breakdown of the Bell Custom 500, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear content on the web, so we do appreciate that. And if you already own a Custom 500 or you got questions for us, go ahead and drop us a comment and uh, start the conversation down below. Okay, let's jump in. So, Bell, one of the OGs in the helmet game. They've been around since the 50s, believe it or not. Uh, the helmet technology has come a long way, but some of us still want that vintage vibe. The Custom 500 gives you just that. This is an open face, vintage styled helmet. And uh, it's really no frills, but it's got it where it counts when it comes to safety and quality. This helmet starts at $125 for solid colors. Graphics like the Vertigo in front of me are more towards the uh, up to 160 ish. And then they make, and th those are all composite fiberglass shells. And then the step up is the carbon, full carbon fiber jammy, and those are right around $430. Prices could change. This is summer 2022. You've been warned, don't get mad at me if prices go up and you watch this at a later date. Helmet's pretty light, 2.4 pounds. You'd expect it to be light because it is an open face helmet. Shell sizes, the unique thing about the 500 is it's got five shell sizes. It's very unusual and it's expensive for a manufacturer to make all those molds. Typically, you know, you see between one and three shell sizes and then they make up all the different fitments using different size headliners and cheek pads. Not the 500. Extra small, small, get a shell and then get one shell and then every size from there on up gets its own shell. Why is that important? Well, if you don't want to look like Jack in the Box, that's super important. Having, you know, individual shell sizes means you're not wearing more helmet than you need to and wearing a, a big fat shell on a smaller head with the open face format really looks weird. So if you want that low profile custom looking fit, lots of shell sizes are important. So this gives you that nice look. We'll show you uh, on one of our models right now so you can see what that looks like on a rider, okay? So this helmet, DOT and ECE 2205. DOT, of course, is the street legal standard for the USA. ECE 2205 is a European standard. When I see a helmet that's dual labeled, I like that. That means you're getting the best of both worlds because those testing um, standards are a bit different. Uh, they prioritize different things in the US versus the European standard. Dual labeled DOT ECE helmet is cool. You know an ECE helmet when you see that E on the label on the strap, there it is. Inter intermediate oval fits true to size. Go buy the Bell sizing chart at speedx.com. And remember, we wanna make shopping for gear painless online. That means we not only will cover the shipping to you, but we'll actually pay to get it back here if it doesn't fit or you just decide you don't like it. Just make sure, test fit in the living room, no bugs. And on the helmet when it comes back here, make sure it's new in original packaging and we'll take care of you and treat you like family. So shop for your next uh, helmet at speedx.com. Okay, enough on our pitch. Let's talk more about this helmet. So you're getting that uh, attitude, that 60s look, and you are getting no ventilation. There's no ventilation on this. That's not unusual, especially open face, vintage looking helmets, not all of them have ventilation. But that's okay because you got a nice big eye port, you can run sunglasses with this helmet, most of them fit pretty good, and, uh, and or goggles. You also have the option of a snap visor. So there are five snaps, there's two down here, three across the top, you can run a moto style visor if you just want that kind of Baja, old Baja look. They also have the visor with the face shield, either flat or bubbled, <clears throat> or a full bubble shield. So the possibilities are endless. That stuff's all sold separately, but if you wanna protect your peepers, that's how you're gonna do it on the Custom 500. Let's flip this over, show you what we're working with inside. The first thing you'll notice is this cool interior. It's kind of that diamond stitching quilt pattern. It looks vintage, looks cool. The liner is not removable, so I won't be pulling this out of the way. Typical D-ring closure here <clears throat> with a snap retainer and this cool leather pull strap. It says established 1954 because Bell has been around the block. Okay, can you see in there? It looks cool, right? But it does not remove and there's not room for a comm system. Maybe if one of you guys already has this helmet and you've snuck one in there, you can tell me about it, but there's really not much room behind that cheek pad. So if you want comms, maybe go with a different helmet. Um, that pretty much does it. Last thing, EPS liner inside this guy, multi-density EPS, expanded polystyrene. That's the material inside beneath the shell. 
It absorbs energy in case of an impact that you do use a multi-density liner, uh, which is pretty standard. It's part of that modern construction but vintage look and modern comfort. This liner is like a real nice kind of micro suede, nice place to be. You'll dig it. You want a custom 500? Head over to speedx.com. Remember, Bell's backing this up with a full five-year warranty, which is pretty rad, and it's risk-free if you buy it at SpeedX because we'll take care of you on that shipping. Uh, head over there right now. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, don't forget to tune back in to find out what's in the crate.